everybody. I'm down here at the beautiful waterfront site in Pembroke's beautiful downtown core. This place reminds me of inclusion. It's accessible, it's inviting, and it's filled with beautiful people and beautiful flowers to fill the environment with a radiant ray of color and, and delight. And you know what? On August 20th, we are hosting Pembroke's annual multicultural festival hosted by the Pembroke Public Library. I'm Shayla Brecken and I'm the Master of Ceremonies for the upcoming Multicultural Festival hosted by the Pembroke Public Library. I am delighted to be the MC this year because this is a true passion of my heart and I have been involved with the library since almost the inception of the event. Events like this don't just happen by accident. Incredible sponsors and partners have assembled to make this happen and I want to specifically acknowledge the leadership and commitment from the City of Pembroke. It's a heart song for me because I'm a resident here and it's incredible to see your local hometown stepping up to fund really important events like this. Thank you to the City of Pembroke for your generous sponsorship and to all of the sponsors who are contributing financially to make sure this is a huge success. Not only will this event be standalone and wonderful from years to come, but it is also the culminating event of Culture Fest in downtown Pembroke. We can't wait to celebrate the grand finale of a week long of activities that you can take part in and enjoy and celebrate your own diversity and explore some goodies that others have to offer. Yes, yeah, so last year's festival, because of the COVID pandemic, we had to host it virtually. So what we did was we went to the amphitheater here and we recorded a bunch of performers and we put that video online. And at the same time, we delivered food from our local food vendors to participants who had placed an order ahead of time. Um, it was a really unique way for us to hold the festival, but it's what we did to make sure that we could still host the festival despite the pandemic. Um, we didn't want to be intervened by the, the difficulties of the pandemic. We wanted to still host the festival and, and continue with our tradition, and we managed to do it. So it was a really great experience for our staff and our team pulled together to get it all done within a day. Why wouldn't you want to come out to the Multicultural Festival? There's going to be so many things happening here. It's going to be an all-day event. Uh, there'll be literally things at every corner and things you haven't seen before. So it'll be a way for you to experience, taste and, and live in other cultures and, and just get a feel for what it's like elsewhere. The Culture Fest is actually just, in my view, an expansion on what the Multicultural Festival is. You know, Carthy and the entire team at the library has been running this festival for years very successfully. And what we're doing with Culture Fest is it's expanding on that. And so we have a number of really great things happening throughout the week. We are going to be having workshops from the Circle of Turtle Lodge. Um, we have some workshops from the Local Immigration Partnership of Renfrew and Lanark. We have concerts going on throughout the weekend from a number of really fantastic local artists. And um, to end off the week, we have the Multicultural Festival, um, which is going to be happening right behind me here at the Pembroke Marina. So if you're looking for more information on Culture Fest, you can head over to our website. It is www.culturefestpembroke.ca and we're going to have an entire lineup of everything that's going on throughout the week and on the day of the Multicultural Festival on August 20th. You can also check out our social media pages on Facebook and Instagram at Culture Fest Pembroke. So Culture Fest Pembroke is being made a reality by an incredible group of local partners here in the Pembroke area, including the Ottawa Valley Media Network, Pembroke Public Library, Pembroke Business Improvement Area, Upper Ottawa Valley Heritage Centre, and Eco Pembroke. So as the Deputy Mayor for the City of Pembroke, as well as a member of the Pembroke Public Library, uh, I've been involved in this multicultural event uh, for a number of years. I've seen it over the years uh, continue to grow and flourish uh, underneath the uh, direct uh, uh, oversight of Karthi Rajamani as the CEO as well as the uh, her crew of employees that work and are dedicated to this particular event. Uh, this event is truly important for the City of Pembroke and the entire community. Um, it's bringing different uh, nationalities, different uh, uh, individuals together and seeing the importance of and the strengths uh, coming from all the different individuals from different walks of life and uh, so I'm just ecstatic to be part of this particular process. Hello. I'm Councillor Brian Abdallah, 
And I'm just here to congratulate Kathy Rajmani and the Pembroke Public Library on another seventh successful upcoming Pembroke Multicultural Festival. We want to thank the leadership of Carthy and the library staff and all the volunteers for the wonderful work they're doing to bring this wonderful festival to the forefront at the Pembroke Amphitheatre and the Pembroke Waterfront Park this August 20th. It's so important. I've been involved with the Multicultural Festival since 2018 and I realize how important and beneficial it is to our community and to celebrate the diversity and multiculturalism of Canada and what multiculturalism means. So come on down on August 20th. All events are free. Food vendors, kite race, bouncy castle, many performances from all over the world. Just a, a wonderful celebration of our multiculturalism in Canada and our community. So we hope to see you there. All the best. Thank you. Hello there, my name is Garland Wall. I'm the co-chair of the City of Pembroke Diversity Committee. The Pembroke Public Library's seventh annual multicultural festival will be held on Saturday, August 20th at the Pembroke Waterfront and Amphitheater from 10.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Come on out, experience other cultures, their customs, food, and traditions all in one location. Go ahead, ask questions. Bring your family on this day in. There's something for everyone. Celebrate culture and enhance diversity. Hope to see you there. I am delighted that Pembroke is having a multicultural fest. These events are very important to raise awareness about and appreciate different cultures and different foods. This awareness brings inclusivity in our community. An event such as this brings the whole community together and when children participate, that's really important because children are our future and they will bring inclusivity into this community. Hello, bonjour. My name is Luke and I am the store manager at the Home Depot here in town. Our strength is in our diversity. At the Home Depot, we are committed to providing an environment that is and feels inclusive for all people. We combine our individual talents, skills, and experiences with those of others to enrich the lives of our associates, our customers, and our community. The Home Depot's values guide the beliefs and actions of all associates on a daily basis. Our values are the fabric of the company's unique culture and are central to our success. Our mission is to foster an inclusive environment at the Home Depot Pembroke, where people are, of all different abilities are able to achieve success and reach their full potential. We raise awareness towards intercultural understanding through celebration, education, and providing culturally specific insight to drive business growth. Building strong relationships and creating genuine connections are key to an inclusive environment. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be part of the festival. The Pembroke Public Library's Multicultural Festival is right around the corner on Saturday, August the 20th and Local Immigration Partnership of Lanark and Redford County, we're going to be there. The annual Multicultural Festival is so important to our community because it promotes communal harmony by carrying the messages from the past generations to the present and the future. It's an opportunity to learn and experience different religions and heritage while helping to preserve culture. It builds social relations and social communication, which leads to unity within our community. Stop by our booth shared with Algonquin College's Pembroke campus to learn more about our services and to have some fun by playing some games with us. We can't wait to see you on August the 20th for this free community event that's part of Culture Fest Pembroke. See you there. I'm so excited to share with you that this event actually began more than 15 years ago in 2006. Karthi Rajamani worked at the Pembroke Public Library and had an idea and she brought it forward and it came alive. So much so that it grew over time from 2017 to today and completely outgrew all the venues here in Pembroke because so many folks in this community want to celebrate our differences and come together in inclusion and diversity. 
McCarthy and her team have been able to grow this event so successfully because of that community engagement and because of all the juicy events and goodies that we get to experience while we're here. Not only will there be food and vendors and all sorts of cultural displays of dance and entertainment, but we're gonna get to come together as a community and celebrate this beautiful place that we have here and really recognize the rich social fabric that's found in the rural mosaic. Join us here on August 20th for the most wonderful display of multiculturalism, local at the best. Thank you so much and see you there.